I'm Justin from XDP, and we're going to show you how to put a DFC Street Series long block in this Ford Super Duty. This truck came to us with a lifter issue. At this point, we'll call it a catastrophic failure. Now on a 6 liter power stroke, you pretty much need to tear the entire engine down to swap out a camshaft. This gave us the perfect opportunity to pull out that old and tired high mileage engine and swap in a fully remanufactured Street Series long block from our friends over at DFC Diesel. The Street Series is upgraded from DFC's standard long block because this build uses ARP head studs and other ARP fasteners throughout the engine. This will give us a great starting point considering that this truck will stay close to stock and ultimately live its life as a tow rig. First, we're going to start with removing the old engine from the truck. The engine could come out with the cab on or the cab off. If you're keeping the cab on, the turbo and up pipes must be removed first so you can lift the engine high enough to clear the oil pan on the frame mounted cross member. Here's our DFC long block, which we're getting ready to prep for installation. Now at the minimum, DFC highly recommends that we install new injectors, a water pump, oil cooler, and turbocharger. Since this truck had a camshaft and lifter issue, we know we've got some metal in the oil. We're going a step further by replacing some of the components that may be contaminated as well. We are also going to be transferring some of the components from the old engine onto the new one. This is a very important step. Failure to transfer this spacer from the old engine to the new engine will cause starter mounting issues. If you forget to do this, you'll need to pull the transmission or engine back out to properly install the spacer. After the high pressure oil pump is installed, you will need to seal the seam line where the rear timing cover meets the block to prevent the risk of oil leaks. After your oil cooler screen is in place, it's best to add oil before installing the oil cooler. This helps prime the high pressure oil pump system while the engine is cranking on the initial startup. In this step, you want to ensure that you properly align the ball tubes into the injectors. Then, firmly press down to properly seat the oil manifold before bolting it down. Always ensure that gasket mating surfaces are clean and flat for a proper seal. Make sure all electrical sensors are clean and have a good connection prior to installation. Be sure to physically check the pulleys for function after installation. They should be smooth without noise. If you hear anything, it is suggested that you replace them. Now we are ready to install this engine in the truck. Before the engine goes in, it's a great idea to check your transmission lines, steering box, heater core lines, and any of those frame or firewall mounted components that are usually blocked by the engine. When installing the intake manifold on the engine, ensure that the plastic alignment bosses on the manifold gaskets are facing upward. If the gasket goes upside down, you'll experience boost leaks because the gasket won't align with the intake runners. To avoid exhaust leaks, verify that all mating surfaces are properly seated and there are no gaps before tightening the V-band clamps. For initial startup and break-in, ensure that you're running a conventional oil that meets the specifications required by DFC in the paperwork you receive. This oil will be changed within a few hundred miles of use. Follow the DFC guidelines for coolant suggestions, and if using an OE coolant, ensure that you have the proper mix and coolant additives if necessary. So that wraps it up for the installation of the DFC remanufactured Street Series engine. Now, we're ready to start it up. To find out more about the DFC Diesel remanufacture engine or to get one for your truck, check out xdp.com.